Oskarshamn in uh, Småland. Have you heard of Småland before? It's, it's uh, a re the region where we are situated. So I will tell you a little bit about uh, Oskarshamn, uh, the place where you are right now. Hello everyone! I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to have a chance to talk to you! <laughs> because that's the only way I can exchange information from me and for me to get to know Thank you, Vaclav. I was named Tommy by my parents and I'm still my name. It's still my name, Tommy Claesson. Uh, and I, uh, I'm a geologist. Uh, and I'm, I will try to, to tell you something yeah. about... Some, uh, uh, I would like to focus on plutonium, but actually I could have also discussed, I mean, the uh, thorium uranium-233, uh, but I, I, I will really focus on plutonium. In the 70s in Sweden, we were lucky in Sweden because we had politicians that said, if we are going to have new... This is what I want to see, really in the nature. So think about that also when you try to work. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Tomasz Kozlowski. I'm from University of Illinois. We are at a beautiful camp Gunnarsho in Oskarsham, Sweden. Uh, we are here at a geological waste disposal course organized by KTH and SKB. SKB is a Swedish nuclear waste company uh, in cooperation with Linus University and other institutions from US and China. We have a large group of very international students from all over the Europe, most of the uh, nuclear countries in Europe, France, Spain, Finland, Lithuania, Russia, uh, England, and also from Asia, from uh, India, China, and North America. Um, this course is one of the uh, best waste disposal courses. We cover not only technical aspects, which are very important, but perhaps even more importantly, social aspects of waste disposal. Uh, the public acceptance, the policy making, which are a huge obstacle in most of the countries uh, to deal with the nuclear waste. I'm from Singapore. This is my first time in Oskarshamn in Sweden. I'm here uh, this week to talk about public perception of nuclear energy in Southeast Asia. Um, I think this summer course is really well organized and um, because there are a lot of international, internationally well-known scholars from all over the world uh, who would share their experience and their knowledge on nuclear energy. Uh, the topics could range from uranium, the use of uranium and plutonium in the making of nuclear energy as well as uh, the geological sighting of the spent nuclear fuel as well as uh, social aspects of nuclear energy. So that's why I think it's really fascinating. Uh, it's really an interesting course because uh, the course instructors will also bring you out to the, the, the nuclear physical nuclear power plants where you get to see uh, how uh, the operational side of things. Uh, that I think you cannot get from the textbooks and I think it's really uh, a cool idea to get to the ground. Uh, last, but, uh, last but not least, I think uh, it's really cool uh, for students who are really interested in a career in uh, nuclear energy. But at the same time, if you are interested in this topic as well, I think this is a good summer camp for you.
Hey, my name is Olga Maskenska and I'm a teacher at the summer school and I'm responsible for the part, for the geological part and we do some excursions both underground and over the ground and teach students the history of the geology, uh, some rocks, fractures and these courses adapted to the not geological students, so the students that doesn't have a geological background. Uh, my name is Edyta Weszkowska. I come from Poland. I am a material engineer and currently I'm working at the National Center for Nuclear Research in Warsaw, um, Poland. Uh, that's why I decided to take part uh, at the summer course in Oskarsham in Sweden. I think that being here as a participant of the course is not only a great opportunity to reinforce knowledge in the nuclear engineering field, but also is a great chance to meet people from all over the world. Hello, my name is Remigius Janulionis. I came from Lithuania. I'm uh, work, actually working and studying in Lithuanian Energy Institute. I'm a PhD student and I find this course actually related to my studies in the, in the institute. Hi, I'm Alec. I'm from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and I'm studying nuclear plasma and radiological engineering. Uh, I took this course because I wanted to get a better understanding of the total nuclear life cycle, uh, specifically the back end of it, which uh, Sweden presents a great opportunity to learn about. I do like very much uh, the lectures actually, the, the teachers are great and uh, I found very interesting the geology side of, of the nu spent nuclear. Uh, nuclear. Okay. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm from Poland, like Renata. It's a great opportunity to us to meet uh, new people comes from all over the world. Also, it's a really big chance to us to learn from specialists from Europe, Asia and United States of America. And for me, I am new to, uh, to Europe and when we came to Stockholm, Sweden, we tried very nice food that was very delicious. And to show you... Oh, yes! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Oh. 